There are so many beauty myths that either we learn from the internet or are actually passed to us through the generations. So today Femika and I will debunk them for you so nobody can fool you anymore. Hi you guys, this is Megha Mukherjee here. I am an internationally certified makeup artist, also content creator. I am really really excited for this video. So if you are excited too, do not forget to subscribe so that you never miss any updates from me. So I will break some of the common myths for you and explain to you why are they not real. So fasten your seat belts cause here we go. So first myth that I think is the most common one that I have heard of is that you can remove your makeup using coconut oil. Oh my god this is so wrong. Coconut oil is comedogenic which means it will block your pores. And it's not only like slightly comedogenic, it is highly comedogenic. So I know a lot of us have heard throughout the childhood that if you have your makeup on, just take some coconut, uh, coconut oil and remove the makeup. It does remove the makeup because it's oil. Any oil would remove the makeup. But please, but please don't use it on your face. It will give you severe acne. Stopping in between, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do it because I'm sure you're learning a lot. So the second myth is pulling grey hair causes more grey hair. I am, I, I don't know about you guys, I have heard it throughout my life from the elders mostly that do not pluck your white hair because it will grow more white hair and to, till a point I used to think that yeah it might be true but when I studied makeup and skin it just turned out to be really really false. When you are pulling a white hair, you are just pulling a hair. It does not mean that the white hair with it's not a germ, it's not a virus, right? It cannot spread white hair. It's it just is it, the result is similar to you pulling a black hair than a white hair. It just means that the follicle might not grow back, your hair might not grow back. That is it. It will not promote more and more grey hair. Third myth is that shaving makes your hair grow thicker and darker. Now, I'll just show you something. I haven't shaved in 20-25 days and this is my hand. Do you see anything? There is no darker, thicker hair. I have stopped waxing, I think, when I was in 12th and it's been 4-5 to five years easily that I have been just shaving my hair has not grown darker or thicker so i'll explain what happens is when you have your natural hair without any sort of um, shaving the top of the hair is normal like our hair so this one it, it just grows naturally so it's not hard but when you shave your top layer of the hair from the skin is getting chopped off so the head of the hair is a little pokier that is it it does not grow th thicker or darker actually the opposite of it when you keep on shaving the hair actually stops growing after a while so i have actually seen reduction in hair growth and not some crazy bare hair in my body Number four, and this as a makeup artist I have heard from so many of my clients that oily skin does not really need any moisturizer because there is already oil. This is so untrue. Actually, oily skin can be a lot, lot, lot dehydrated. I'll explain why. So, oily skin is a skin type just like dry skin. But dehydration is a condition, it's not a type. And oily skin actually can be really, really dehydrated. In fact, skin's oiliness can be worsened by dehydration that triggers even overproduction of the sebum. So yeah, if you think that your skin is moisturized, it is not, it is just oily. And yeah, dehydration, if your skin is dehydrated, then your skin will produce more and more oil. So keep it in mind. Myth number five. 
and I am also guilty of this because I did not understand it when I was younger. Your skin will get used to the skincare products that you're using and then it will stop working. This is absolutely not true. So what happens is when you think that your skincare product is not working on you anymore. Now remember there are two different things. Your skincare product never worked. And the second one is the something you used worked for you but now it is not working. So what happens is when suppose I have acne and I'm using like a salicylic acid and now my acne is gone then I'm like oh it's not clearing me out more or something like that sometimes. So what happens is now the skincare product is just maintaining its status. It's just maintaining what it is supposed to do. Now the expectation is like, oh, it will give me brightness also. It will give me this also. No, it will only do what it is supposed to do. And then it will just maintain what it was already doing. So before you reject the products, just give it some time and, and see and read about the product once again to see that if the, if the things that it is claiming is still you are getting benefited by that still or not. The next one is you do not need retinol until age 50. So let me tell you, it is absolutely untrue that you do not need retinol until and unless you reach 50. Retinol actually increases the skin cell production. It helps unclog pores. It also exfoliates the skin. And the main point is it increases the collagen production, which results in reducing your fine lines and wrinkles and it freshens the skin up it plumps the skin up now the myth about this is that you do not need retinol until unless you see the signs that is not true you cannot have wrinkles and then try a product and then you're like ah not happening don't know it's not true you have to understand how your skin works internally as soon as we women cross 25 our production of collagen in the skin drops drastically then actually the early signs of aging starts so you want to incorporate all these actives especially retinol in your skincare in early ages of course the amount of retinol will uh, vary with age and the time that you're using it but you can definitely use it when you're young and when your skin will start decreasing the amount of collagen production naturally. Second last in the list is clean beauty products are not as effective as regular skincare products. This is more of a debate than a myth. So I would like to tell you that 60% of the products that we use on our skin end up in our bloodstream. Have you ever thought about that? So this is why choosing safe products is a very important decision that you should make. Keeping your health in mind. So it's not only about your skin, it is completely directly related to your health too. The last myth is that higher the SPF, better the sun protection. Now this is not like entirely false, but this has a catch. It's not only higher SPF that you should look into, you should look into if the product is broad spectrum or not. Broad spectrum offers you coverage from a lot of damages that is caused by the sun. Higher SPF will definitely give you more protection from only the sun rays, that is you won't get tan. But a broad spectrum will cause will make sure that the a lot of damages that are caused are decreased which includes uva damage and dna damage too i hope that this video was helpful for you guys and you learned something from it for clean safe natural beauty products you know where to shop from only and only femica do check out all the products that are going to be mentioned in the description box and also you can join our community and welcome yourself to the world of clean, safe, organic beauty and wellness. Also you can subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any updates. And you can join us through all our social media platforms, the links to which are either on your screen or definitely mentioned in the description box. I will see you guys very very soon with a new video and new learnings. Till then, you guys take care.
Bye. So guys, here's the end. Hope you liked the video. Visit femica.com now. Check out all clean and safe products and dive into the world of clean beauty. Thanks for watching the video.